Hello again and today what I'm going to uh, do is show you how to create your own master server. If you remember from the other tutorial what we did was we created uh, a connection to the master server so uh, we can host stuff. So then we were using Unity's master server now we can create our own and then connect to our master server rather than Unity's. So to first of all create it we need the files. So I'll this link will be in the description. So just click on that, uh, and uh, you want to click on the master server. So just click there, and it should start downloading. It's a short download, so after it's finished, uh, you want to extract all the files into a new folder. So master server. Okay, I'm gonna extract all the files. Okay, now it's done and you can use other programs as well but I use Visual Studio just because uh, in my opinion it is awesome so let's just make the view large icons so if you're using some other program then I really don't know how they might do it this Xcode uh, folder so you might want to look into that but since we're doing Visual Studio and if you don't have installed Visual Studio then you might want to download it eh, and uh, um, so just double click Visual Studio and open the master server dot sln with Visual Studio so just double click it or right click and open with Visual Studio whatever suits you and you can either go click next 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 or you can just hit finish uh, it will automatically create a backup if you click finish or if you just keep clicking next then you've got like the option to choose it and stuff so it's lots of stuff like that. So uh, we're not gonna like do any editing with the master server. We're just gonna like leave it as it is. If you want to run the program right now just to check everything is running smoothly, you can click this little debugging uh, thing. And yes, I would like to build it. And it's going to take a little bit of time to compile everything, and then it's going to launch the master server. So just a little bit waiting okay okay now if you see this window then that means you've done everything successfully and it's launched and I don't recommend closing it like that or closing it from there just use control and C like they say control C uh, point uh, there should be uh, you should point uh, or I should point out, I I can't even speak today. Anyways, I should point out that uh, this uh, two three four six six port needs to be port forwarded. If you don't know what port forwarding is, uh, it's uh, basically uh, it's basically like if you've got five computers in your house and uh, you don't know, or you know, the person that's connect, trying to connect to the server doesn't know which one they're trying to connect to so uh, what port forwarding does is if it uh, sees any connection coming in with this port this 23466 or it could be any other port you know but for now we're using 23466 so if any connection comes in with that port it's going to d redirect it to the computer that you choose which obviously will have the server so uh, you can run it now and you can go into unity and like test it but for me what I like to do is if I close this uh, yeah that Visual Studio might say that so just hit continue that the program is trying to break or whatever and what I like to do is go to build and build solution okay now after the build is uh, built successfully it says build success succeeded and yours might take a little bit of time and it might do some stuff but I built this before so that's why it didn't take that long so what you want to do is in your folder where all the files are go to Visual Studio then go to debug and scroll down till you see master server dot exe and now you can it's a exe you can run it from here obviously you need to run it to be able to connect to it so um, yeah so anyways uh, so after you have launched this you can now close out of Visual Studio and there's one last thing to do after you've obviously port forward 
port forwarded so and open up unity and I think I might have to restart it so hold on uh, unity and I'm just gonna go to our uh, tutorial project that I use and at the start you want to set the IP of your master server so test uh, it's not it's nothing too complicated so at the start of your game before it starts connecting to the master server it should set the ID of the master server so the ID would be your computer's ID so if you've port forwarded and uh, um, like uh, you've got direct access what you can do is type in what is my IP and there you go and Google does this for you so that's good and you can just like type in master server dot IP or it should IP address well, did it go? There we go. equals to that and it's a string so you know okay now that's it so as soon as it starts just set the ID and we're good to go so thank you for watching uh, this tutorial and I hope you've enjoyed it uh, as much as I enjoyed uh, trying to teach you this. So, see you next time.